To begin, find the spots in your video that you want to add the time stop shake effect to and go to that exact frame, then right click the video and select insert frame hold segment. Now move ahead 10 frames by holding shift and hitting the right arrow key twice, then make a cut by holding control and pushing K. Now delete the rest of the frame hold we won't be using and move your video back against our remaining frame hold. Repeat this process for all impacts or parts of your video that you want the effect on. Now go over to your project panel and create an adjustment layer by right clicking, selecting new item and then adjustment layer. Then drag it onto your timeline and match the duration of the first frame hold segment we just created. Go over to effects and find strobe and transform, then drag it onto our adjustment layer. Now go over to effect controls and under strobe, change the values of duration to 0.01, period to 0.1 and random strobe to 75%. Starting from the first frame on our adjustment layer, go to our preview screen and double click it. You will then see a blue circle appear. This is our anchor point. Click and drag this to the impact point of our video, then go to effect controls and under transform, click on the stopwatch icon for scale and position, and this will create our starting keyframe. Move ahead one frame and increase the value of scale by 40 points. Then under position, Change the 540 value to 580. Move ahead one frame and change the value of 580 to 540. Then move ahead one more frame and change the value of 960 to 1000. Then another keyframe ahead and change 1000 back to 900. Now we can simply highlight our existing keyframes after the initial one and copy and paste them to fill out the rest of the adjustment layer. Now it's as simple as duplicating our adjustment layer to all the impact points we initially created and the effect will just copy over without the need for manual keyframing.